Hello everybody, Board Game Lawyer here. It is a Thursday. I'm off work. I got my complete honeydew list done and now I'm ready to sit down to the table and play some Marvel Champions from Fantasy Flight Games. And I am going to continue my Venom Week. Now I know that I started Venom Week last week, but as you well know, I got diverted with some brand new heroes that got released from Fantasy Flight Games. And we now have Deadpool that we can play with. We've got X-23. And those have occupied the lion's share of my time. But I'm, now I'm ready to get back to playing some Venom. And I decided to play Venom Pool tonight. So we have a brand new aspect, the pool aspect. And so I'm going to be using Venom in the pool aspect to take on the Sentinel Project Wide Awake this evening. So let's take a look at the main scheme for the Sentinels and see what Night of the Sentinels is all about. So we're going to be playing with Sentinel 1 and Sentinel 2 because we're going to be playing in standard today. And we also need to include Project Wide Awake, Zero Tolerance, and Standard encou uh, Encounter sets, as well as one modular set, which is the Sentinels. And I'm going to use the rep recommended contents for setup today. So the setup says set each captive ally aside. So here's my captive allies. I'm going to set them over here. Richter, Boom Boom, Cannonball, and Wolfsbane. I'm going to set those four allies aside for now. And then the setup continues. It says, reveal the operation, zero tolerance, and mutants at the mall side schemes. So let me go find those. So here's operation zero tolerance, which is force response after an enemy attacks and defeats an ally. Place that ally face down under the scheme. If there are X face down cards under the scheme, the players lose the game. X is three more than the number of players. So... Four cards underneath Operation Zero Tolerance, and I am defeated. It begins the game with three threat on it. Let me go find those three threat and put that on to Zero Tolerance up there. All right, adjust the camera here. Adjust my game board just slightly. Okay, so Operation Zero Tolerance comes into play with three threat on it. No cards underneath it, so that's good. And then the other thing was to find the... Um, Mutants at the Mall side scheme and put it into play. Let me go find Mutants at the Mall. Here it is. It reads as follows. When defeated, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Sentinel minion and reveals it. Flip this card and put Jubilee into play, discarding any other version of Jubilee from play. And there's an acceleration icon on it. So Mutants at the Mall All right, is a is a side scheme that we're going to put into play with four threat on it. Let me go find four threat to place upon it. Oh, the mall days. Remember the mall? Used to have some pretty decent malls. Let's see. We had Sears, JC Penney's, Spencer's. We usually had like KB Toys. Those were all things that I could find in the malls where I live here. So the mutants are hanging out at the mall. There is an acceleration icon on the mutants at the mall, so we need to keep that in mind. All right, so that is in play. Is there anything else to do as with regard to setup? It says set each captive ally aside, reveal Operation Zero Tolerance, mutants at the mall, it's out there. So all we got to do now is flip over to side 1B, and now it says Operation Zero Tolerance, which is this one right here. It gains permanent Force response, after threat is placed here, if there's at least five threat here, the first player places the top card of their deck face down under is Operation Zero Tolerance. Then remove five threat from the scheme. It begins with one threat on it, so it's got a, th a low threat threshold in solo of only five. Let me go find one threat and place it onto the Knight of the Sentinels. I think that's all for our setup here. Now the Sentinel says that he begins the game with toughness. Let me go find tough token to put on him. It says the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of Abduction Protocol's side scheme and reveals it. All right, let me go find Abduction Protocol's side scheme and reveal it. So that's another yet another side scheme that goes on the table. And here it is, Abduction Protocols. It says that it has a hinder of two, so we place two on it. Victory two, so it goes to the victory display when it's defeated. It says, when defeated, a player who defeated the scheme takes one random set-aside captive ally 
and puts it into play under their control. So 2 plus 2 for the hinder is 4. So immediately there is a lot of threat on the table. We've already got two icons. We've got the crisis icon and the acceleration icon on the table. So when revealed, the first player first searches for abduction protocol side scheme and reveals it. It's revealed, and now it's into play. So we've got four schemes out there on the table with threat on them. Ouch. That's nasty. And then Sentinel begins the game with uh, 16 hit points. Let me grab the dial. All right, 16. And now we've got 16 hit points on the Sentinel. Mm. Venom, his alter ego, drops it on the floor, is Flash Thompson. It says you can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword. That's good. Armed and ready, set up. Discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a weapon upgrade, then add that card to your hand. That is Flash Thompson. He begins with 12 hit points. And of course, he is the Venom. You can control one additional upgrade that has a restricted keyword, so that's on both sides of the card. Symbiotic Bond says resource, take one damage, generate a wild resource limit once per phase. He attacks for two, he has a defense of two, he thwarts for one. So that is our hero, Venom, Flash Thompson. All right. So we begin with a hand size of six. I think I've got everything else under control here. I've got the uh, Nemesis set set off to the side. It's got the Enraged Symbiotes in it. I guess Flash Thompson aggravates the other Symbiotes. And then I've got... Um, oh, wait a second. Because I'm playing the pool aspect... Yeah, I didn't take that into account. There's an additional... Um, encounter set. Let me go find it from my collection quickly. And here's the uh, Project Wide Awake allies that we were to set aside. I'll set those over here. I'm glad I remembered that. I'm going to shuffle one more card in the encounter deck. Let me go find it in my collection. I'll be right back. Because we are playing the the pool aspect, we also have to include the Crisis of Infinite Deadpools into our deck, and then we set another, yet another modular set off to the side that's got Dreadpool in it. Forgot all about that, so I'm going to shuffle Crisis of Infinite Deadpools into my encounter deck. There it is. I'm going to shove it in, give it a quick shuffle. I'm glad I remembered that. Now, that's something to remember with this new aspect, that if you are playing with the pool aspect, that dread pool is an option that could come out into play just to make the game a little bit more ridiculous. I don't know. My opinion is that with this new aspect and Deadpool set... That it's kind of like FFG's attempt to jump the shark with Marvel Champions. But I'm not saying that that's a terrible thing. Because I actually like the episode of Happy Days. When Fonzie jumped the shark, I tuned in for it. And I'm tuning in for some Deadpool as well. Obviously, because I'm playing it tonight. Alright, so I've got the encounter deck shuffled up. Let me go ahead and shuffle the hero set up. If you are not a child of the 70s, I, I apologize. Jump the Shark, that's what that's from. Happy Days, that was a show that was on. I'm from the 70s. I was born in 71, so I'm over half a century old. I'm not ashamed to admit. I cried when I hit 30. When I hit 40, I was what the whatever. When I hit 50, I was like, well, I made it that far. I'm happy. And I'm still playing car games, still playing with toys. I'll never grow up. All right, so there is my hero set. Six hand size is one crew quarters, two multi gun, three venom, four spider sense, five bob agent of Hydra, 
and six is grasping tendrils. So those are my six cards that I get to begin the game. Now I need a mulligan. And I'm going to throw off, probably not ready for Venom just yet. I'm going to throw off Venom. I'm going to throw off Grasping Tendrils because that's more of a defense card. Bob, I hate to lose Bob. Oh. Spider Sense, Multi-Gun, and Crew Quarters. How about we toss Crew Quarters for now? Not going to need it at this very moment. I do like the Multi-Gun and Spider Sense. I, and if I can get both of those cards on the table... I'm pretty happy at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to draw three more cards. And they are Venom's Pistol. Ooh. And I get Energy. And I draw Live Dangerously. Mm. All right. So his ability says that I can, as a setup, discard cards from the top of my deck until you discard a weapon upgrade. Then add that card to your hand. So I'm going to do that right now. So there's Self-Confidence. I wish I could have grabbed one of those earlier. Uh, grasping Tendrils. Now I've got both of my defense cards in the Lost Pile. So here's Venom's Pistol. Oh, man. So many good cards to start the game with. I don't even know what to do. All right, so Sentinel has a tough on him. If I flip over to my hero side, um, multi-gun, Bob Agent of Hydra. And I got both of my pistols out. Mm. How about if I put Bob out? What about Bob? Bob, Agent of Hydra, says, After Bob, Agent of Hydra, enters play, deal two damage to an enemy, or remove one threat from a scheme. That That's, uh, you know, that's similar to one of the Hydra soldiers that comes in either the base set or Rise of Red Skull. Because remember... You had a choice, deal two damage to your hero or place one threat. Now this is says, uh, deal two damage to an enemy or remove one threat from a scheme. I think it's probably a good idea for Bob Hydra, Adrent of Hydra, and I'm going to spend two resources to put him out, the energy resources, to put out Bob Adrent of Hydra. And how about if I remove threat from... How about Abduction Protocols? Yeah. I'm going to remove one threat from Abduction Protocols with Bob, Agent of Hydra. He could do two damage, but that would just simply be moving, removing the tough from the Sentinel. Um, all right. So I've got enough resources to do what? I really would like to put Spider Sense out. It says when the villain initiates attack against you, draw one card. Yeah, so why don't we do that? Why don't we spend Live Dangerously? I'm not ready for that just yet. And how about the Multi-Gun to put out the Spider Sense? So that's an upgrade. It says when the villain initiates attack against you, draw one card. And then Venom's Pistol. We'll spend one Venom's Pistol to put out Venom's Pistol. No. I'm going to flip over to my Venom side. I'm going to use... I'm going to take one damage to put out Venom's pistol and hang on to the other pistol in my hand. So Venom is now down to 11. Venom's pistol is out. Bob, agent of Hydra. I can either remove another threat off of abduction protocols and then remove... Um, because the... Venom's Pistol says, when you use one of Venom's basic powers, exhaust Venom's Pistol. Venom gets plus one to that power for this use. So I could get rid of Adduction Protocols. And when I do that, this goes to the Victory Display. And I can put one captive ally into play under my control. Which I kind of like that idea. So Bob, Agent of Hydra, he does not take any consequential damage. But he is going to remove one threat off of Abduction Protocols. Which takes it down to two. Right? And then Venom is going to exhaust Venom's Pistol. 
He's going to get plus one to his thwart to remove two threat off of abduction protocols. And with that, I can win defeat of the scheme. It's a victory. Takes one random set aside captive and puts it into play under their control. All right, so we're going to put that in the victory display, which is off to the side right over here. I'll put the victory display just off of camera up here in the corner. Uh, I'm going to take these cards here, shuffle them because it's a random pick. Now, I don't know which order they're in. I'm just going to say one, two, three. This will be the one, and it's Cannonball. It says, Cannonball takes minus one consequential damage after he attacks and defeats a minion. And he could do two damage, or he could remove a threat. So I think I'm going to use Cannonball to remove one threat from Mutants at the Mall. He takes one consequential damage. I'm going to hang on to Venom's Pistol. Ready, Venom's Pistol, Venom, Cannonball, and Bob, Agent of Hydra, and draw up five cards into my hand. So I've got uh, Run and Gun, Healing Factor, Savage Attack, Panda Pool, and Head Pool. Mm -mm. Kind of like these cards. All right, so I'm going to... Nope, I got too many cards. So the last one I picked was was uh, Headpool. Because I still I kept a hold of Venom's Pistol. I drew too many cards. So Headpool goes back on top of my deck. So I got Venom's Pistol, Run and Gun, Savage Attack, Healing Factor, and Panda Pool. And we're going to place one, two threat onto Sentinel... Not, not the Sentinels... That's getting kind of dangerous. Knight of the Sentinels. Sentinel's going to attack us for two, plus a boost. Now it says, when a villain initiates an attack against you, draw a card. So we get to draw that head pool back up into our hand. Yep. So now we've got six cards. Yep. And so Sentinel's going to attack us for two, plus this boost here, which is another two. Sentinel Mark Five. So he's going to hit us for four. So Venom goes down to seven. And the encounter card reads, Gauntlet Beam. Attached to the villain, the villain's attack gain piercing and range. Hero action. Spend three fist resources to discard this card. Exhaust and then, or the boost is to Id exhaust your identity. Okay, so now I've got six cards. I've got the Healing Factor, Savage Attack, Run and Gun, Venom's Pistol, and Head Pool. So it's a good array of cards. Um, I do think we want to get rid of that Mutants at the Mall scenario. Side scheme. So Bob, Agent of Hydra can exhaust to remove a threat off of mutants at the mall, which will take it down to two. Okay. We can exhaust the Venom's pistol, so Venom can remove two threat off of mutants at the mall. Disadvantage is... Uh... When defeated, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Sentinel minion, reveals it, flip this card, and put Jubilee into play, discarding any other version of Jubilee from play. So now i got to go find a mutant or a Sentinel from the encounter deck and discard pile. So here's the five who has guard and patrol. Here is the six that has quick strike. Here's the two that says if operation zero tolerance in play, Sentinel Mark II gains surge. No, sir, I don't like that. It's 
three says he has toughness. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for energy barrier attachment and attachment attach it to this minion. I think I like the Sentinel Mark Six or Four actually, because all it has is guard and patrol. It doesn't surge. Doesn't go grab any other cards. It just simply comes out on the table, the Sentinel Mark IV. He's no slouch. He's got four health, and he does a scheme of two and attack of two. I really think we need to put the Sentinel Mark IV out on the table. Okay. Shuffling the encounter deck. So Jubilee comes out now, and she says, the first player controls Jubilee. She does not count against your ally limit. An action, exhaust Jubilee and spend a energy resource, deal two damage to an enemy. So now we got Jubilee, Cannonball, Bob, Venom on the table. And do I have any energy resources in my hand? I certainly do. I could spend Run and Gun, or I could spend Healing Factor. I don't like either one of those being spent right now. So how about if I spend the run and gun to exhaust Jubilee and do two damage to the Sentinel Mark IV. Two damage over there. And then with my remaining resources, I could put... Um, Venom pistol on the table using panda pool and I could put um, either head pool on the table or I could spend three resources to put the healing factor on the table which that allows me to heal on my turn hmm Here's a question. Did I place one additional threat onto the Knight of the Sentinels because of Bob, Agent of Hydra? I don't think I did. So I should place one more threat on Knight of the Sentinels. I think I just caught that. So that would make a huge difference in what I do here. So head pool. After head pool attacks and damages a minion, that minion attacks another enemy of your choice. Or I put head pool out, doing one damage to Venom to remove two threat off of Knight of the Sentinels. I think that's what I do. I'm going to do one damage to Venom. And now Healing Factor and Savage Attack are also resources to put out head pool. Head pool is going to remove two threat off of Knight of the Sentinels. I am going to flip down. Um, am I? Am I going to flip down? Am I going to leave Cannonball on the table? Cannonball takes minus one consequential damage after he attacks and defeats a minion. Oh, no. Yeah, we got to do that. So Cannonball is going to attack the Sentinel Mark Four. He's attacked and damaged, so he takes minus one consequential damage. So he's not going to take any consequential damage at all. But the Sentinel Mark IV is gone, and that's a good thing. All right, now we flip down to Flash Thompson. Armed and ready. He can control one additional upgrade that has the, the uh, restricted keyword. Now I have both Venom pistols now onto Flash Thompson, as well as Spider Sense. Cannonball is ready. Bob is ready. Headpool is ready. And Jubilee is ready. And I draw my hand size of six. So we've got laser swords, get good, self-preservation, bazooka, uh, lady Deadpool, and da bomb, da bomb. All right, so we place one consequential damage, or we place one threat on Knight of the Sentinels plus one for Bob, Agent of Hydra. Now, the Sentinel is going to scheme. 
and it's going to do so for two plus this one right here, three, four, plus one more because of head pool, so five. So nine of the Sentinels gets five threat added to it. And it reads, uh, after threat is placed here, if at least five threat here, the first player places the top card of their deck face down underneath Operation Zero Tolerance to remove five threat from the scheme. So the top card of my deck is this one right here. It's going underneath Operation Zero Tolerance. And we remove five threat. So there's still four threat on Night of the Sentinels, which is not good. <laughs> Let me see what I got in my hand. I got Laser Swords, Get Good, Self-Preservation, The Bazooka, The Bomb, and Lady Deadpool. All right, so here's the encounter card. And it is an advance, of course. So Sentinel is going to scheme for two plus one for head pool plus two more for struggle for control. So that puts Knight of the Sentinels up to nine. We place the top card of our dis of our deck underneath Operation Zero Tolerance. So now we've got two cards of the four underneath there, and we remove five threat from Knight of the Sentinels. Hmm. Sentinels are having a good time tonight. Let's see what I can do. All right, so Flash Thompson can heal for four. That'll put me up to full strength. Laser Swords counts as two restricted cards, max one per deck. Your hero gets plus one attack for each of these different icons in play. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. We are going to have to remove some threat off of Knight of the Sentinels. Let's see how we want to do this. The bomb got get good now i did lose my last game it says reduce the cost to play get good by two if you did not win your previous game force interrupts when a player would be defeated set their hit points to one and change to alter ego form remove this card from the game get good laser sword self-preservation so if i have uh Double the number of resources this card generates if your identity has sustained less than five damage. So far, I've su sustained six damage. Hmm. And the Bazooka and Lady Deadpool. So the max that I could probably generate for self-preservation is two if I heal for four. That'll put me up to 12. Venom's Pistol. Is a hero interrupt? The bomb get good. Laser swords and bazooka. I would like to use the de bomb. At this point, the de bomb would do twelve damage. Because headpool and agent of Hydra being on the table, of course, I'll do damage to Flash Thompson if I do that as well. Mm. Get good. I'm going to heal. Heal for four. Now I'm up to ten. I'm going to flip over to my hero side. A head pool is going to remove two threat off of the main scheme. He takes no consequential damage for that. Bob, agent of Hydra, is going to remove the tough from Sentinel. I'm going to fire off the bomb. And get good gets played for free. Get good gets played for free. I'm going to spend six resources, one, two, three, four, five, and one more for Venom. So he's going to take one damage. So he goes down to nine. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six resources. So the bomb is going to go off. Ooh, that's not good because it's going to hit everybody. It's going to hit everybody. Ouch. All right, so the bomb hits Sentinel for 10, 11, 12. 12 damage into the Sentinel. Takes him all the way down to 4. Then I have to do two damage to Venom because of the bomb. Uh, Cannonball is going to do two damage before I actually pull that off. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attack with with Cannonball to knock him down to two before I uh, before I lose him. So Cannonball's defeated. Um, we're going to take two damage onto Jubilee. Bob, Agent of Hydra, is defeated. And Headpool is also defeated. Yikes. I'm good. The bomb went off. Got Sentinel down to two. And now I will drop my hand size of five. So I get Dog Pool, Run and Gun, the Warhead, Behind Enemy Lines, and Downtime. Placing one threat onto Knight of the Sentinels. The Sentinel is going to attack Venom. Spider Sense goes off. So I get to draw a card. And it is Self Control. Venom is going to block. He's plus one for the gauntlet beam. Do I want to block? Yeah, I'll block. Blocking with Venom. So he attacks for three. Plus this card right here, four, five. Reduction protocols. Minus two. It says when you use one of base Venom's basic powers, exhaust Venom's pistol, Venom gets plus one to that power for this use. Nah, I'm not going to do that. So he's going to defend for two. He got attacked for five, so he's going to take three damage. Now he's down to four, and here's the encounter card. And it is the Sentinel Mark II. It says, when revealed of Operation Zero Tolerance's play, Sentinel Mark II gains Surge, which it is. Operation Zero Tolerance. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Operation Zero Tolerance side scheme and reveal it. Okay, it's going to surge into this card right here, which is a gang up card. So now it says, when revealed, the villain and each minion engage with you attacks you. So first off, the Sentinel is going to attack Venom. He's going to attack me for three. I'll block with Jubilee. He attacks Jubilee for one, two, three, four damage. And Jubilee is defeated. I think she goes to the victory display. Yep, she goes to the victory display when she's defeated. And now the Sentinel Mark II is going to attack for two and knock Venom down to two. Now, I did get to draw an additional card because after the villain initiates attack against you, draw a card. He initiated attack against me even though I blocked it with. So I get Savage Attack. And my turn's over. His turn's over with. All right, what do I got? I got self-control, dog pool, run and gun, the warhead, behind enemy lines, remove three threat from a scheme. If you pay this using only mental resources, confuse an enemy. Downtime and savage attack. Deal five damage to enemy. If you pay for this using only energy resources, this attack gains overkill. So I could do that with... Um, Savage attack. I could do one damage to Venom for a wild resource and ready Venom. Let's see. No. So there's the other the other energy resource. 
So I can attack Sentinel and the rest of the damage will get absorbed into Sentinel. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one damage myself to attack Sentinel Mark II. So he's defeated. The rest of the damage is going to go into Sentinel. That's going to knock him all the way down to zero. So Sentinel Stage 2 comes out. And he comes into play with toughness on him. It says the first player searches their encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of the Abduction Protocols side scheme and reveals it. Deal each other player a face down account card. Here's Abduction Protocols. Comes into play with four threat on it. Abduction Protocol says, when defeated, the player who defeated the scheme takes one random set-aside captive ally and puts it under play under their control. Alright. Hmm. I did have behind enemy lines. Remove three threat from a scheme if you pay for this card using only mental resources confuse an enemy. Can't do that. Um, get good. Abduction protocols. I can put the Negasonic Teenage Warhead into play. It says when a treachery is revealed, deal two damage to Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Cancel that treachery's when revealed effects. Alright. Well, why don't I put her out, out, out there now for... Yeah, I'll put her out there for four resources. She's going to threat uh, thwart to remove two threat off of product abduction protocols. And we're ready everything. Ready Venom. All right, and I'll draw five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Behind enemy lines, remove three threat from a scheme, symbiote suit, project rebirth, locked and loaded, and strength. We will place one threat onto the Knight of the Sentinels. Sentinel is going to attack Venom for four, plus this card right here, five, six damage into Venom. So Venom takes six damage. So one. Now Get Good comes out. It says when a player would be defeated, set their hit points to one and change to Alter Ego form. Instead, remove this card from the game. So we go to one health, flip to our alter ego form, and we're going to remove get good from the game. All right. I need to put him at 18. Okay, so Sentinel attacked us. Now he's going to draw an encounter card, two of them because of Negasonic Teenage Warhead. So the first one is an Assault. It says this card gains Surge in Alter Ego. So it surges into that card there. Our next card reads, Sentinel Mark IV, when revealed, if target for elimination is attached to your identity, Sentinel Mark IV attacks you, even if you're in Alter Ego form. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the targeted for elimination attachment and reveal it. Targeted for elimination. There it is. 
We're going to reveal it. It says, attached to your identity if a copy of Targeted for Elimination is not attached to you. Otherwise, this card gains surged. While you're engaged with a Sentinel minion, you cannot change from Hero Form to Alter Ego Form. Action, exhaust your identity to discard this card. All right. So now I am targeted for elimination. Don't like that at all. And now this card reads, warn the others, force response. After your turn ends, place this card face down under Operation Zero Tolerance. Alter Ego action. Exhaust your identity to discard this card. Uh, exhaust your identity to discard this card. So force response. After your turn ends, place this card face down under Operation Zero Tolerance. So it's an obligation that comes out into play for me. Warn the others. So I can either exhaust my identity to remove that, or at the end of my turn, place that face down underneath Zero Tolerance. Ugh. That's where I don't like it. Like it at all? Okay. I gotta knock this the sentinel all the way down. All right, my turn. If Negasonic Teenage Warhead defeats abduction protocols, it says that that is, it goes to the victory display. And puts a random set aside captive under my control. So maybe I begin my turn with that. Exhaust Negasonic Teenage Warhead to remove two threat off of abduction protocols. It's defeated. Find a captive. Randomly select a captive. All right. Yeah, set. So one set aside random captive ally into play under my control. And it is Richter. Response after Richter attacks, deal one damage to the villain and each minion engaged with you. Okay, that's not bad. Locked and loaded symbiote suit. Got the symbiote suit. I could really ramp up my. I like the symbiote suit idea. So, how about Richter? After Richter attacks, deal one damage to the villain and each minion engage with you. He's going to attack the Sentinel Mark VI. Hmm. Or is he going to attack Sentinel? I like the idea of him attacking the Sentinel, but I do need to remove threat off of Knight of the Sentinels. Okay, so he's going to attack the Sentinel. Max the tough off. It's going to do one damage to the Sentinel, and it's going to do one damage to the Sentinel Mark V. Hmm. Exhaust Flash Thompson to remove Warn the Others. Hmm. I've got behind enemy lines. Hmm. 
exhaust flash Thompson. To get rid of Warren the others. I've got locked and loaded too. Search your deck for a weapon upgrade and shuffle it. Add it to your hand to your deck. Behind enemy lines. Let's do this. Let's uh, flip over to my hero side. And I'm going to play behind enemy lines. Nope, before I flip, I'm going to play Project Rebirth with the symbiote suit. Which says that I can heal three damage or draw a card. So we're going to exhaust Project Wide Awake to draw a card. And it's Kid Pool. Kid Pool says attacks gain piercing. <laughs> Flip over to my hero side. Spend three resources, locked and loaded, and strength to play behind enemy lines. Yeah. Behind enemy lines, remove three threat from a scheme if you paid for this using only mental resources, confuse an enemy. I'm going to go ahead and remove the three resources off of Night of the Sentinels. And I'm going to discard Kid Pool. Bad idea, probably. Probably. Probably a bad, bad idea. So I'm going to draw two cards. I decked myself. So I got endurance and run and gun. Deal myself an encounter card. And shuffle my deck. Three more cards. One, Grasping Tendrils. Nice. Ooh. Two for Bazooka. And three for Run and Gun. Okay. And I got some decisions to make. Placing a threat on tonight of the Sentinels. Sentinel is going to attack Venom. We're going to ready everything. Uh, Richter is going to jump out in front of this attack. So three plus one is four. Uh, and it says exhaust your identity. So my identity is exhausted. Richter is defeated. And now Sentinel Mark V is going to attack Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And he's going to do three damage into him. First encounter card reads, uh, Self-Repair, Treachery, Discard each status card from the villain, give the villain a tough status card, and heal five damage from it. So I can give him a tough status card. Uh, 
and heal five damage. So now he's up to back up to eighteen, which is beginning health. And my other card reads that it is a minion who has quick strike. Sentinel Mark Six, who does quick strike into Venom. I've got Grasping Tendrils. When the villain initiates attack against you, cancel that attack. Oh, yeah. He did initiate attack against us, and I did have Spider Sense, so I got to draw one card. So let's see what I would at least gotten in my hand, which is Kid Pool. But I don't think I have anything that I could do to, do, to block that two damage that the Sentinel Mark VI is getting ready to put into me. So Venom is going to be defeated. So the Sentinel took us down tonight. Um, I'm not content with that. I think I need to try this again. Um, this is my first attempt at playing pool outside of Deadpool. So if you saw anything that I messed up on this playthrough, please let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching my video today. It was an unsuccessful attack against the Sentinel Army. They got me today. That was tough. Ouch. I probably could have done some things differently at the beginning of the game to kind of minimize the amount of damage that I took throughout this game. But, you know, I don't know. You know, going back in retrospect, I probably could have done something differently. But anyway, that is my playthrough of Venom this evening, the Venom Pool against the Sentinels. The Sentinels managed to stomp Venom tonight, along with all of his buddies, the Negasonic Teenage Warhead, we had some others. Richter came out. We had some other uh, allies that got defeated. Jubilee went down pretty quickly. So the Sentinels, yeah, they, they win this one. So it's one nothing Sentinels against Venom. And thanks for watching my video and my playthrough today. I am the Board Game Lawyer. You can catch me at boardgamelawyer at gmail.com if you have anything you'd like to share with me. Otherwise, you can catch me on YouTube. You can also catch me on Twitch. Live plays on Twitch from time to time, particularly on Friday evenings. You can catch me there about 8 o'clock Central Standard Time in the United States. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching my video playthrough today. I hope you have a great evening and enjoy your time with your family. Take care, friends. Goodbye.